the exhibition we're currently standing in is the Queen's Gallery. These, these amazing pieces you see behind you and all throughout the galleries are drawn from an amazing collection by Dr. Howard and Linda Knoll. They're Anaheim residents and the collection is just world class. As you walk through the Queen's Gallery exhibition, it's quite an elaborate and amazing exhibition with many pieces, many flat artworks, masterpieces that you simply won't see anywhere else. We have some 60 paintings that are hanging on the walls here and in total about 400 different artefacts, all from the Victorian period. The amazing impact that the Victorian Empire had on the world are all reflected and all represented in the paintings, the artwork and the artefacts that you see in this exhibition. The Victorian era was filled with, is filled with so much history. This was the beginning of the modern age. The Industrial Revolution was the time where we, the invention of the electric light bulb, the camera, photography, steamship and steam travel, railroads. It was also a time of people started to um, question the world around them. It was the time of Darwin. It was the time of Marx where people started to question their government. They questioned the church with the theory of evolution. It was an incredible time in history. The Victorian period is, is so critical to understand in some depth. What you see in the Queen's Gallery exhibition is we try and take the whole time, the whole culture, the whole experience as it was to live in Victorian England and indeed the impact of Victorian England around the world and present that to you in one museum exhibition. The masterpieces that hang on the wall are truly world class. They're the same artists that hang in the Louvre and the Tate in England and they're exceptional and I think everybody will be amazed at the quality of the art. Just looking at a painting is unimportant. You have to understand that the artists took their inspiration from other forms of, of art. We have several of the paintings on the wall where the artists uh, uh, took their inspiration from books that had been printed three or four hundred years before they painted. Um, so what it is, it's, it's a mixing of the different art venues. It's a, trying to educate the public as to why these paintings are the way they are. Why are there so many paintings here that go back to mythology, to Greek mythology, to Norse mythology. So many of the artists go back three or four hundred years for their inspiration because these were generally unhappy times and people were looking for an escape. They could escape into the past or they could escape into the imaginary. And uh, so you'll see on the walls a lot of paintings that reflect that escape. There are other paintings that reflect that hard life that existed. Although it was a great, great time in terms of inventions, in terms of conquering of the British Empire, you know, occupying one third of the world, it was also a very tedious and difficult time for the average person. And I would like people visiting this exhibit to take some of that away with them, an understanding of how this art was created and why it was created. The Queen's Gallery is our attempt to bring the Victorian era to life. We hope that the people who come to visit the gallery feel like they have stepped back in time.